All right, so uh, we're going to stay a while longer on the subject. It's one of our top stories for the day. Let's get a reaction from civil society. I've just been joined by Esther Aholi, uh, who is Programs Officer with the Commonwealth Human Rights Initiative. She's live on Skype. Thank you very much, Esther, for your time. I'm sure you've been following the latest development on this. What's your very latest um, reaction to this? Thank you, and thank you to your viewers. Um, yes, I've been following this, um, the, the current development. We heard about it um, around nine, and we've been uh, monitoring monitoring the I mean the media space just to have a look at what is going on. And talking about my reactions, I am happy, I am um, excited because there has been a very long journey. So for us to come to this um, to this stage, it is something that is very commendable. And so we want to congratulate the whole of Ghana for this breakthrough and for this victory. We know that, and as we know, this is just the beginning of the process. I mean, talking about how this is not going to assess the information, have access to information and all that. This is just the beginning of the process. So we hope that going forward, we will all come on board to see this law become a reality in the life of Ghanaians. Uh, Esther, we know this is going to ease citizens' um, access to information, but even before this was passed, I know the Right to uh, Information Coalition and your group as well had raised uh, objections to certain portions of the bill that, that, that has just been assented into law. Uh, do you still hold those reservations moving forward? Um, yes, indeed. We, at the latter end, we were still talking about certain few areas that um, we could have ironed out with regards to what we have now. But as we've been communicating uh, since the, the law was passed by parliament, what we have presently is something that we can work with. It's something that we can um, make it function for now. And then as, as time goes on, some of the challenges that we face, we can use to correct some of the issues that we were talking about. But as we speak now, the law that has been signed by the president is a workable one, it's a good one. I mean, we cannot get a perfect one. So for that one, we just have to move forward and ensure that what we have been given, we work with it. So we, we will not say that we still hold on to what we said, what we've been saying. And we are not saying that it is done completely. But what we are saying is that Ghanaians should now focus on the fact that this law is something that we can work with. So we should all come on board and use it. Again, Esther, one of the contentious issues that came up uh, was the fact that people would have to pay to access that information. Uh, is this not uh, sort of, um, uh, you know, sort of an affront to the, uh, you know, to freedom of, 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 of information, if you ask me? No, my brother, because if you check um, what the law says, the payment is not just about any payment. It is very specific. The law is very specific on the fees that you are going to pay. You are just paying the cost for the reproduction. I'm sure when you go to every, I mean, shop to go and do photocopy, you do pay for the, uh, the service of the photocopy. So that is what we are talking about. That is the fees we are talking about. The fees is the reproduction of the information. So, for instance, if the information is going to be put on a CD for you, we don't expect government to incur those costs. So that is the cost. We are talking, that's the fee we are talking about. The CD, the cost of the CD. If you want it on a pen drive, it's an audio version that you want on a pen drive. That is what you are going to pay for. So that is the fee we are talking about. So the fee is just to reproduce the information for you. It is not just to pay the right, or, because the right is already given to us. So talking about the fee, what we have now in the law says that you would only have to pay for the reproduction of the information for you. And then the reproduction, to our best of understanding, is about if you want it on a, a, a hard copy, then you pay for the cost of the phot photocopying. If you want it on a pen drive, you pay for the cost of the pen drive. If you want it on a CD, you pay for the cost of the CD. That is what the fee means. Uh, very finally, uh, Esther, many feel that this law largely will benefit uh, media practitioners and journalists. Uh, is that the case? Yes, indeed. They, they are part of the people that are going to benefit from it. But it doesn't mean that the law is actually meant for the media alone. Because um, anybody, anybody can just go into a public institution and go and request for information. It is not only um, media people that can go and, and, and ask for information. And again, let's also bear in mind that there's a part, there's a part of the law that talks about proactive disclosure. 
That is our public institutions proactively disclosing information to the general public. I don't think that those those proactive those information that will be proactively disclosed will only benefit the, the media. This is something that is coming out for the benefit of the general public. public. So the, the idea that has been going on, the um, notion that this law is for the media, we've, like you said, we've been on this advocacy for a very long time, and for each platform that we get, we try to explain to the people that this is something for everybody, for the ordinary Ghanaian, for every citizen. And therefore, it is not something that is just for the media. So we are all going to benefit from it, the, depending whether if you are going to make good use of it. And like I said, even if you don't go and request for information, like the, maybe the media will go and seek for information, there's an aspect of the law that deals with the public institutions also coming out without anybody coming to ask from them, coming out to give the general public certain basic information about the work that they do. Esther, I thank you very much. Esther Holly is Programs Officer with the Commonwealth Human Rights Initiative.